What's up YouTube? Just Gav here bringing you guys a brand new video here up onto the channel. This video is going to be a live commentary video, but what we're going to be talking about in today's topic is Will Battlefield 5's Pacific Theater Chapter 5 of Tides of War be a soft reboot for Battlefield 5? Um, this is a topic that I've seen be brought up a lot. By the way, we're playing a uh, breakthrough on Arras. Arras. This used to be one of my least favorite maps. It's kind of grown on me since I played Breakthrough on it. Anyways. So will the Pacific Theater be a reboot, a soft reboot for Battlefield 5? Me personally, I think that's what DICE is going for. Uh, because the content drip, or the content, uh, uh, how much content they've been putting out for this game is... I think there's a guy up here. Yeah, he's building fortifications. It's quite lacking. And I think they're just waiting for... I think they're just waiting for, uh, oh my goodness. I think they're just waiting for the holiday season to really launch and, and almost launch Battlefield 5 as if, as if it was like a new title or a new game or a, something like that. Because a lot of people, hold on. a lot of people think that, uh, the Pacific Theater and all that stuff should have been in the game from it, from the get go. And, and I remember when they, when Battlefield 5's announcement came out and everybody was complaining and I was like, well, to give it a chance. You know, we, we have seen the same the same theater over and over and over and over and over, and over again in uh in, in World War II games, which is understandable because that's the most iconic of the you know of the battles and of the war and all that stuff and, and I completely got it. So I was like, but nah, just give it a chance. I think it'll be cool. Some of the more some of the some of the more unknown um stuff that actually went on, some of the more crucial stuff that went on that people don't really pay attention to, um, as far as World War II went. And, you know, I'm, I'm a big historian guy, so I always thought, well, this will be cool. We know we get a new take, we get a new da, da, da and has it worked out? I don't believe so. I think that the Pacific Theater should have been, looking back on it, I think the Pacific Theater should have been in the game this entire time. I think that would have been the smart move for DICE to realize that. And I think they have finally realized that almost a year out from the game's launch. It'll be in November, it'll be a year. Um, so apparently the Pacific Theater is supposed to come out uh, late October or in the fall sometime after Chapter 4 comes out, obviously, because it's going to be coming along with Chapter 5. And I just, uh, I think that's what they're going for because I don't know if I mentioned this in this video or not, but on Reddit, some guy was posting um, when they showed the, was it the E3 trailer? Yeah, the E3 trailer with all that co uh, content, Lofton Islands, um, and all the new maps, the M1 Garand, and then they, sh they tease the Pacific Theater. A lot of people thought we were gonna have those maps by now. Not necessarily the Pacific Theater maps, because obviously they're not done, they just showed off concept art for that stuff. But a lot of people thought we were gonna have those maps by now, and it and we haven't. And it's kind of a big disappointment, and you know, not something that people expected, especially since they show, I'm going off by the way, especially since they showed it off so much it looked like everything was done in my opinion it looked like they had all the maps done da, 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 da. and we got one of the maps already but no conquest what is the name of the, uh al sundan yeah something like yeah al sundan we we got i think domination and tdm on the map and then conquest was broken so they were saying they were trying to fix conquest and we're 12 and hour right now by the way um and they haven't yet and i i i don't know what they're doing People on Reddit were like, they're on holiday. Da, da, da. I don't see an excuse to why DICE uh, hasn't put out any more content. I don't know if EA's cut their staff short or if EA's working on the next Battlefield game. I know Apex Legends is kind of ramping back up a little a little bit with the solos just launching. So maybe they're they're paying t more attention to Respawn than they are DICE, which, I mean... Or, the or uh, yeah, to Respawn, because they're working on the last... Uh, Fall Fallen Jedi Order, right? And then we got BF5, we got Apex Legends. So, I mean, it's not like they're working with a ton of... And, of course, they're sports games. So, I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you think that the Pacific Theater will be a soft reboot for BF5? I think it will. I think it'll sell a lot of, a lot more copies. I think it'll revive the game. Maybe not for... Not, like, permanently. But for a brief time, I do think... Ooh, I got lasered. Oh, no, it was a different guy. I do think for a brief time that the Pacific Theater will revive the game a little bit that's until that's if they launch it before modern warfare comes out because if modern warfare comes out and and uh activision and infinity ward knock it out of the park i mean are we gonna are we gonna see a new battlefield title next year especially since the console the new consoles are supposed to be launching in 2021 i don't think they're, they're coming out next year do we see a new battlefield next year or are we gonna have to wait another year 
for a new, or I guess another two years, technically, since we're in 2019. Another two years for a Battlefield title? I don't know. So, I think if they come out with a specific update, or Chapter 5 update, and they bring out all the stops, add in all the factions, just, just push all the content out that, that you need to push out, revive your game, update Firestorm to 100 players, do do what people are asking just listen to what people are asking for i understand it's your interpretation of what you want to do your game plan you made the game so you know what's right not necessarily okay and i feel bad for these developers out here that don't have a say in what they do because if it was up to them i'm sure we would have had the japanese the different factions we would already had the pacific theater we would have already had that stuff um how many months has it been? November, December, January, February, March, April, May, June, July. It's been 10 months. <laughs> or 9 months, sorry. July, August. September. Yeah, 9 months. Like, <laughs> come on, guys. Or something like that. I, I, I don't know. My math's bad. Leave me alone. So, soft reboot. Yes. Will it work? Up in the air, to be honest. I hope it does. I really do. I hope BF5 gets come, uh, has a comeback. Because I've been kind of taking a break from it. Not streaming it. Stuff like that. I've just been bored of it. And uh, we're actually going off right now. <laughs> this is actually my first game back on like a week. And we're 16 and 4. So, Lewis Gun's a beast. Lewis Gun is a beast. You guys check that video out. You know, on my on my channel. I have some highlights with the Lewis Gun. and Stuff like that. So, yeah. What is your guys' opinion on whether the Pacific Theater will be a soft reboot for the channel? Or for the channel. What the? Well, I guess. Kind of. Um, for Battlefield or not. Just let me know. Um, so I just wanted to get those ideas out there and just throw it out there and, and, and see, and see what would, what would happen. Just kind of get it off my chest. Cause you know, I've been, I've been riding or dying for this, with this game for a while and I have to finally just throw my hands up and, and just kind of give up because they've been disappointing us, giving us fucking or freaking knife, two knives, two weeks in a row for the tides of war, giving us a hat, giving like, come on dice. Like this, this game as a service thing is, isn't working. Um, I don't know who thought it would, because I'm pretty sure most people thought, nah, everybody, everybody threw their hands up and, and screamed hurrah when they said no premium, but is it, was that the right move? Was it really? And I know a lot of people are saying, well, uh, B, BF1 had the same amount of maps out, uh, right now, uh, the same as BF5. Well, we also knew when bf1's maps are dropping we had dates we knew we knew the they we knew the the names of the in the name of the czar this they like we it was like an event when they dropped when this game it's like yay the new chapter starts what do we get oh we get a gun and 14 knives for this chapter and, and a hat and a boot oh yeah yeah awesome no people no we want maps we want guns we want more than just fucking skin it's world war ii it's not like they can go crazy if this was a modern game that, yeah, they could probably go a little bit more crazy with the skins. The cosmetics would be way cooler. But, like, it's... I just... I don't know. Do I think they should bring premium back? I don't know. Do I think that would guarantee content? Probably. Will it split up the player base? Yes. I know this this video is kind of everywhere. And, and the main topic was supposed to be Pacific Theater Reboot. Which we've kind of stayed on topic a little bit, have we not? Ah, oh, there's a guy to the right. But, uh, yeah, so that's kind of just, I wanted to get out there in the air, see what you guys thought, see what you guys, uh, you know, thought of it and stuff like that. This is very unscripted. I was just thinking about it and, and Reddit, I was on Reddit and somebody had said something about it being a soft reboot. So I wanted to make a video about it, a live commentary. So, yeah, leave a comment down below. Let me, guys, let me know what you guys think, if I'm wrong, right, if I'm on to something, if I'm not. So yeah, we're gonna play the rest of this game out. We got 200 tickets. That's a lot of tickets, though. We gotta push this team. We gotta we gotta get B. Guys in the buildings with shotguns and shit. It's kind of hard to to do anything, huh? Yay, squad wipe. I'm eight. I was 14 and or 16 and two or something like that. Now I'm 18 and eight. Not good. We've we've died quite a bit of times. The guy's 14 and 0 in the tank though. All right, let's just. Should we finish it out or should I cut it off? Cause this is gonna be a long ass video if I don't cut it off right now. <laughs> Uh, there's a flare. There we go. Okay, we gotta get B teammates. Let's try it out, huh? Mm, usually isn't the way I push, but... So... I don't know, I might do some more of these live commentaries. Especially when the max rank... Is, since the max rank is gonna be raised at the end of the month, apparently. So... 
All right. All right. I'm going to end the video here, guys. I'm not going to finish out the game. This is going to take forever. I got what I what I need to get off my chest and what I want to talk about. So if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends. This has been Just Gaff. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, Girl Scouts. See you later, guys. <laughs>